Hello everyone, welcome to SEQ Spotting and Travels first airport design and building video. Today I got my cards and foils in the post from, from the Netherlands, Holland to build my new airport. Um, they form a business called No Point Airport and they do a whole lot of um, good foils, airport maps, building cards for your airport which, which you build up yourself and you screw them together and all that and there's many varieties of them. Here is the um, airport cards building kit which is um, the foils for my airport that I'll stick to this board. There's 31 in total that you build up however due to the size of this board we won't be able to fit all of them unfortunately so the top row here up here we will get rid of that which is unfortunately means that we we'll only have one runway in our design instead of two runways as you can see there's a runway up there and just due to room and that we couldn't, we couldn't afford to fit two in which is a shame really but what I like about these foils is that they tell you the, um, the time it will take to build them, the estimated time. This one will take three and a half hours to stick all the foils together and get them onto the airport board. The airport set includes five terminals which you glue together to form the one main terminal and it's got four trains and a shopping mall plus a monorail which is pretty interesting didn't know they had that on this design, well, that would be pretty cool to see. Airport building kit for the terminal itself. It'll take about eight and a half hours to build, which is um, quite a while. I need like a whole day to build it so we can build it. <laughs> this is a long time. And there you can see the airport there, the terminal. It's quite big, quite nice. And it's got a good variety of um, wide body gates and narrow body gates. Five terminals which you stick together to form the one main terminal. For a better indication of the airport layout, here's a printed off copy from the internet of what it will look like. I'm going to call it Nan Nancy Bird International Airport after the famous Australian aviator who unfortunately passed away a few years ago. And here's the um, terminal. Here we'll have um, an international terminal here, which will take up about three quarters of the terminal space. And over here we'll have a domestic terminal area here in the terminal. Of course, you can't see in real life from above the difference between the international terminal, but if we could see through to the layout inside the terminal, and if it was real, this is what it'll look like. There'll be a domestic key international terminal there. So, the, in the domestic terminal, we'll have the domestic narrow body aircraft here, like 737s, AV20s, and Ray 190s, you get my drift. And we'll have the domestic wide bodies here. Yes, this is three narrow body gates, but we aim to convert them into two wide body gates where we'll have like Virgin AV30 and Qantas AV30. And here we've got our international wide bodies. And here we've got our international narrow bodies, which will include Air New Zealand AV20s, Qantas Jet Connect 737s, Virgin 737s, etc. etc. Here we've got our cargo area, where we aim to have our cargo aircraft. And as part of the design that we got from no point, there's this cargo air airport terminal that you'll build, construct, which I'll show you in a second. We've got a fuel depot which you also build. See up here, this is the sec section where we'll cut off due to size spaces, which means we'll lose a runway. And this taxiway here, we aim to convert that to like a remote parking area where we might put a remote parking area here, another one here, one here, and maybe another one here. So here we've got our fuel depot. They look like paint tins, don't they? Like yellow paint tins. It's 
It's got six fuel tanks, pipelines, and truck loading dock. And it'll take three hours to build. I'm really looking forward to um, seeing what this turns out like. Because we, cause we didn't have any of these in our old airport. All of the domestic gates I showed, they've also got domestic airport that you build, domestic airport terminal kit. However, we're unlikely to use this as a domestic terminal as the domestic terminal will be part of the main terminal as I showed just then. So this will probably be used for like office spaces and all of that. That's probably what I'll designate it for. And this will take one hour to build, so not too long. But what I wasn't expecting from the package when it came was a Stanley knife and glue stick, which was free. However, we're likely to use spray-on adhesive, as it's much easier to do, and you know, there's less likely chance of it creasing. You know, just better be safe than sorry, especially when you dealing with expensive foils that cost up to $200 nearly. Overall this cost 170 Australian dollars including shipping. And I'll keep you informed of any updates and changes to the airport layout. And I'll up upload another video which will probably include scenes from the construction um, development process and once it's completed and I've got all my aircraft models on it I'll film a video there too so there'll be a few more to come from this airport model series thanks again for listening guys and um, hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to give me some feedback in the comments, please do, and I'd appreciate your feedback. And from now on, catch you later.